All right, so let's make a bottom lid. I need uh, to do the offset of this uh, this shape. This is gonna be technical gap. So let it, let it be point one. Point two is also okay. Remember, if you're doing point two, this is point four because they am creating uh, shapes from other s from uh, two sides. So this is my shape, and now you just need I just need to extrude it, but not using the this command, using command from here because this is making box with cups from bottom and from underneath. And I can make a look lead here. Of course, now I need to make a. Uh, I need to create the holes for screws, but this is not a big problem. I've got the. Mm, I've got everything written here. So now, all I need to make is a hole. You can do it a couple of uh, ways, but. Uh, the good way is to unblock this one and then go to create hole, round hole and then you are selecting target surface which is that one and then you can place uh, this hole somewhere they have to be from a center so we have to have a center selected alright this is kind of tricky when you have mm, many objects on the stage and I don't know what why ah this is great and you have to this is two and a half so I have to select uh, diameter two and a half and also uh, the length of it so let's go into be through yes three it means go through it's all right so here and here and con confirm that's you've got holes also i have to have a uh, something which i fix with my 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 screw will hide so i have to make a cylinder in in size of my head head of my cylinder which will be actually about uh, eight millimeters diameter uh, eight millimeters so i have to change for diameter Eight millimeters and make it like this and then go change the uh, view and actually I can move it to the to the middle of 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 my or I can move it like this it's because this is not a big big problem as you can see I've got it I've got it here and now I can copy this one the cylinder from the point here to the point there and now I'm using boolean difference so this is gonna be the part I'm cutting in and this is gonna be parts I'm cutting with this is actually my lid, my bottom lid uh, finished. Now I just need to make a round side hole to make a, to put the cable in, and this is gonna be it. I decided to make a cable hole in front of the green gringer here. So now first I need to do I need to make a flat surface from the cable fixing from inside. I want to keep a sh nice shape from outside. So I have to make a make it in this view, in the front view. So I will make a little bit about 11 and then to kind of that shape. And then I will just uh, 
align to my object, to my center, and then extrude it. I can actually now hide the, the bottom lid and extrude my shape in solid. Something like this. Uh, actually, the size, the the thickness of the wall in here to fix cable should be about uh, two millimeters. So I can measure if there is mid two millimeters. There's three millimeters. So I might be better. Yeah, this is three and a half actually. So I have to uh, move it a little bit towards, but it's not a big problem. I need to boolean. And like this. And now I need to make a, a nine millimeters because that's the matter of my uh, cable rubber. So I'll make a, I'll make nine millimeters and uh, make the same the same way. I need to trim right now and I need to join and then basically all I need to do is just to uh, cut the holes in this piece and I will show you how to cut with the wire frame I didn't center my object so I have to do it right now Okay, and you can find wire cut in here. And here we are. So basically this is it. We've made through all uh, Gringer design. And uh, now I just need to print it. <laughs> 